This is kind of interesting as well. Joe Flacco in wild card games on the road, 4-0 in his career. Um, his last two wild card round games at the Chiefs and at the Steelers, both wins for his team, 43 of 63, 68%, 524 yards, 8.3 yards per carry, four touchdowns, and no interceptions. So they averaged 262 and two touchdowns, no picks. If they, if the Browns get 262, two touchdowns and no picks from Joe Flacco, they're going to be awfully tough to beat by anybody. I was going to say, if, if I get those statistics, I'm pretty sure I'm picking the Browns to to make it to the Super Bowl, right? Like right. that is 262, two touchdowns, no interceptions. I'm not really sure I worry too much about what else is happening on the field. And it tells you a lot about Joe Flacco because 4-0 – you know, wins are a team stat, but the fact that he is 4-0 and with those statistics tells you that he knows how to settle down when he needs to, right? So when everybody else's heartbeat is going up, Joe Flacco's is going down. And, and that ability to relax, be calm in the pocket, be calm under pressure, reset yourself. Uh, we've already seen it some this year, but just to be able to kind of limit those turnovers uh, in the biggest games, right? He has bet on himself. Time after time, it's why he got the big contract from Baltimore. It's why the conversation about him being elite ever started. Uh, and now we can have jokes about, you know, an all-time Browns legend. Joe Flacco is obviously elite.